Good morning, and welcome to our first Oakcrest Insight for 2017. John, I know you had a great holiday season, and I hope all our clients and viewers did as well. Today we want to take a couple minutes and talk about why stocks have been rallying, as well as give you some reasons why we're optimistic for 2017. But before I get into that, John, could you go through a couple housekeeping items for us? Sure. I just want to remind you that these new videos are a replacement for the old newsletter that we used to email out monthly. Uh, there is a blog attached to this video. You can read that for more detailed information if you like. But this is the way we're going to communicate with you going forward. Second thing is I want you to be on the alert for your 1099s. They're going to be mailed in mid-February. You need those to do your 2016 taxes. Uh, they all go out on the same day. We get ours the same day that you get yours. But keep your eyes open for those. Those are important documents. Thank you, John. So today we want to give you five reasons why we're optimistic for your savings and retirement assets here for 2017. The first one, our new administration wants to potentially lower corporate tax rates. Now many of you watching this today might say, Ryan, I'm not a CEO, CFO of a publicly traded company, so how does that affect me? Well, all of you are investors, and even though you might not own a majority of the shares, you still own a small portion of that company. So as their tax rates decrease, it increases earnings per share, it adds growth to the value of those stocks and potential dividends for you. So even though you might not have a great interest, you still have a vested interest to continue to grow your investments. Secondly, the government wants to decrease our personal income tax rates. Now this affects everybody. It puts more money back into your pockets, more money to spend on cars, housing, clothing, vacation, our economy works best when we have money moving in motion, when we're spending money. When money is stagnant, that's when our economy can't continue to grow. So our new administration wants to add growth to our economy and continue on the levels we've been at. Third reason, John and I watch a lot of key financial and economic indicators. And right now, all of those indicators are very strong. We look at things such as housing, unemployment, fiscal policy. Those are things that are very strong today. And when we watch them every month as things change, we'll keep you updated on those as well. The fourth item, this is regulation. Our new administration wants to lower regulations on corporations. Today, corporations have to spend a lot of money to keep in compliance. If they can get rid of those, it will again increase their earnings per share, which indirectly affects you guys and increases your potential for your stocks. The last item is our new administration wants to continue fiscal stimulus. They want to continue money going into infrastructure, into our defense system. This in return creates jobs. It continues our government, our economy to continue to grow. So in summary, our new administration wants to lower corporate taxes, individual taxes. Our financial indicators are very strong today. Uh, less regulation and more you know, stimulus for us as the economy. So we're very positive and optimistic for 2017. We are, we're very optimistic. Having said that, I have two caveats. Number one is not going to be a smooth ride. The market hates uncertainty, and there's a lot of uncertainty in Washington right now, specifically with regards to our trading partners, Mexico and China. You will, we will see volatility along the way. We think it's going to be a good year, for sure, but don't be surprised if there's a wild market swing or two along the way. Second thing is there is more money going to be pumped in, but we're not sure when it's going to happen. We don't know if the personal tax rate is going to drop in the middle of the year, at the end of the year, we don't know when exactly. And we, don't, we do know that it's going to take time for new spending for infrastructure and defense and such to actually get into the economy. So while we think it's good for 2017, looking over the horizon, 2018, 2019, you're really going to see a more profound impact from the changes that are going on now. Um, also, I want to remind you that when you're done watching this, if you would just bookmark this website so that you can keep us, as I said, this is how we want to communicate going forward. And also on the website, you have the opportunity to hook up with us via LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter and such uh, technologies that Joe and Ryan have been working very hard to incorporate into the practice. And, and I think Ryan has more to say about yeah. that as well. Thank you, John. Um, so hopefully this adds some optimism for you for 2017. As John talked about there in our next video next month, we plan on giving you a little insight into our operations and new technology that we're rolling out for Oak Crest clients. So stay tuned next month for our next edition of Oak Crest Insight.